Hello, this is the Chico Comics page. My name is Michael Nunley, and today I'll be reviewing Valiant Comics Fallen World number one. This is going to be a five-parter, so this is the opener for the series. Uh, this was written by Dan Abnett, with art by Adam Polina, colors by Ulysses Ariola, letters by Jeff Powell, and these covers, which are all amazing in this particular case, was by John Boy Myers, uh, A.J. Josh Kumar, Coy Turnbull, and Doug Braithwaite. Uh, this issue will be available on uh, May 1st, 2019. So, this place, this story takes place after the initial, uh, the, the, the initial 4001 uh, stories put out by Valiant, uh, centering mostly around the uh, Rye comic. Uh, essentially, for for those just coming into it, the world was decimated by war, no longer safe for inhabitants, and so this guy uh, made an AI, and that AI eventually began to control everything. In fact, this AI built this city called New Japan, uh, clear up in the atmosphere, and it was... Uh, Designed to house the people that managed to survive the uh, nuclear and atomic wars. So this story actually takes place in uh, 4002. So that's uh, this is like the the year after uh, the initial series with Rai. Now, um, artistically, uh, Polina and Ariola uh, really rock this. Uh, there's a definite change in feel and uh, in in atmosphere, both in the in the drawing style and in the coloring. Uh, that that lended greatly to to Admit's story. Uh, he had broken it into essentially covering uh, the stories of of three characters as they converge on a on a final event, kind of like how uh, Anne Rice did the Queen of the Dam. That that kind of a thing. Almost. Anyway, uh, so uh, artistically, the scenes with with Rye and Bloodshot, two of the main characters in there, have a definite Japanese feel. Um, but there's also a an almost pulp feel to it. Uh, not sure how to describe it. I haven't quite seen art like this before. Uh, I've seen I've seen Polina's work before. I've seen Ariola's work before, um, but this this art seems uh, seems different. They they seem to have brought uh, another level with it. Uh, I liked how they they laid out the panels. There's really great uh, world building scenes. They they did some nice uh, really wide shot panels where you can get a nice view of the of the the open area. I really enjoyed that. Adam Polina's story uh, was written was written really good. Uh, I I liked I liked how the the dialogue flowed. I liked how the events took out. There was one particular case where um, an event played out in a bit of a cheesy fashion for me. Um, it it was like watching a, a really bad horror movie where. You know, you're, you know, when someone goes outside to investigate a strange noise, everybody in the audience is going, dumbass! It was the same kind of thing. Um, and it was with a character I wouldn't think would be that naive. So that particular part uh, threw me off a little. That aside, uh, ev everything else about it was good. Um, like I said, the pacing and dialogue were all... We're all on top of it. The art was pretty good. These covers are fantastic. Uh, Powell did a good job on the on the lettering. Uh, he he man, I, I love it when uh, a letterer will put uh, character influence into like the the framing of the of the caption or the color behind it or the lettering used. Uh, I like how he did that with the different characters in here. That I. That is one of my favorite aspects. When a when a letterer does that, um, they they get my vote. Um, I like it when it's more just more than just words in a box. There's actually personality and character where they don't have to tell you uh, this is Bloodshot speaking. 
When Bloodshot is speaking, you know that because of how the letterer did the box or the color did or did the lettering or something. Anyway, just just really good. So, uh, Scully's Corner. Um, let's go over, uh, should we buy this book? I think, honestly, if you, if you can, go out and get the uh, Valiant stuff that uh, took place in uh, 4001 particularly the Rye and Eternal Warrior stuff, um, that would be, it, it would be beneficial. But this book is also a good jumping on point. Uh, I, I think that really anybody, even those not familiar with the Valiant Universe, can get into this. Uh, it is explained well enough in the story without sounding like a diatribe or a documentary or something. Uh, it's, it's, it really comes across naturally, but still delivers a lot of information. Uh, so, all around, uh, I'm going to give the art uh, a 5 out of 5 on this. Uh, really, really great presentation. Coloring and, and pencils and inks all around. Really fun. Uh, the storytelling by Abnett. Um, honestly, that, that one scene uh, knocked him down a little bit. Otherwise, this would have been a 5 out of 5, too. I'm going to give this a 4.75. Uh, Pan-like ability. Uh, how many people can just go into a store that don't know crap and pick up this comic and still enjoy it? Um, most comics, because they, they tend to be uh, specific genres, are limited in this, in this function. Uh, I think, honestly, uh, most geeks are into sci-fi, uh, are, are, are into a, a more, uh, they, they like dystopian type movies, they're very popular. I think, I think that this would, this would fall into that. But, you know, it, it also, it's, it's just an entertaining story that speaks a lot about, uh, the, not just the characters, uh, and the world, but also, um, uh, how how humanity is judged. Um, it felt it felt kind of like the uh, the Star Trek: The Next Generation episode where you had uh, them discussing whether or not uh, Data was was actually a sentient sentient autonomous being. Um, there's that kind of a, a feel in it, you know. So it has that thought provoking aspect. So. Uh, as far as pan like ability, I'm I'm gonna give this a a, a three point seven five. Uh so that, that actually uh brings the whole total for the issue a four point seven five out of five. So Valiant really rocked it out of this. Um it is not impossible to, to get an absolutely perfect score uh for me because of you know, it, particularly because of the pan like ability ranking. Um, so yeah, this is, this is definitely recommended. Um, uh, I would check this out, uh, and, uh, get into this while you can. This is a nice jumping on point. So thank you for reading, uh, Valiant Comics. Thank you for rocking. This is Michael Nunley.